Boker Tov, I'm Stephen Ben Danoon and you're watching Israeli News Live. All around the world, protests are breaking out against Israel. There are violent clashes and riots in, in countries virtually around the world. We see uh, the image that you're seeing now are riots that broke out against it at a Jewish synagogue in Paris, France. Uh, and the, basically the Jewish people were left to defend for themselves. There was no one that really cared about the Jewish people in this particular case here. Riot police finally come in uh, a little bit later, but that was after several Jewish Orthodox Jews had been beaten uh, by the angry mobs that were going through the streets of Paris. We also see in numerous photos uh, that the violence around the world, including several major U.S. cities, against Jews, even in Canada, the very country that's supposed to be the closest ally to Israel. Uh, angry protests are breaking out against Jews there. Uh, we see it in London, England, uh, many other countries through Europe, also in South America, uh, in Argentina, and it just goes on and on and on and on. <clears throat> it's interesting that uh, Giulio Miotti reported in, a, in one of his articles uh, today in Israel's national news that Israel has had roughly about 60,000 rockets rain down on their country since they began as a nation in 1948. And yet no one ever seems to bring this out, especially Western media. Western media often plays the Palestinians as the victim and Israel as the aggressor. But oddly enough, even in World War II, as Giulio Miotti reports, is that Israel, no one really ever wanted to come to their aid. When the Jews begin to resist and fight back, then finally there were the Western powers in Russia that came to fight Germany to slow Germany down. Of course, there's many other things in behind the scenes that we did not know that they were really still trying to exterminate the Jews. Barry Chamish in his book, Saving Israel, and others, The Stinger, Not the Stung, also brings this out to light. It is rather interesting, though, as we watch the events unfold around the world, now we see <clears throat> it is a worldwide campaign against Israel. And no doubt, it is only preliminary to what will happen in the near future when all nations will come down to Israel to invade her to try to put a total end to the Jewish people. Of course, this is when God says that he will intervene, and then they will know that he is the God of Israel and the God of all the universe. I'm Stephen Bendenun with Israeli News Live. Baruch Hashem.